centimeters, meters, and, and uh, metric measurements. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice? Okay. <laughs> so the next thing, the next question on our menu today, what is the value of log zero? Oh, oh, oh this is a spicy question. Log zero. Let's rewind for a second and think about what does log even mean? Like we're not talking about lumber here. We're not talking about chopping down trees to get logs. We're talking about logarithms, the mathematical function. So suppose we have something like this. Um, equals what? Okay, suppose we have something like this. Log, the base can be base of, um, let's say of A is equal to C. This basically means that um, a base to the power of C is equal to A. Okay, let's do that down here. Um, if the log doesn't specify a base, um, immediately know that it's base 10. Um, still, I'll, I'll just write that off. Uh, base 10 if nothing uh, specified for base. Okay, um, that's important. Um, so given this, we're basically trying to find um, that log depact uh, along like along these lines is basically saying like 10 is the base, right? So 10 to the power of something, um, something is equal to zero. Now, what does it mean to do to the power of? So the power is to multiply it over and over again, right? So 10 to the power of two, that's 10 times 10. 10 to the power of three, that's 10 times 10 times 10. 10 to the power of five is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, five times. Is there anything? Okay, let's think about this for a second. If the result of a multiplication is zero, um, one of the things that you multiply has to be zero. There's no way that you can just multiply two things together and get zero unless you're multiplying zeros. So it's basically saying 10 multiplied by itself, how many times is zero? What? Does that make sense? How could we possibly multiply 10 by itself over and over again to get zero? It, it don't make sense. So really, the answer of log of zero, it don't exist. Can't happen. No, not happening. Not working out. No. Uh, no answer. And you'll actually see this if you um, plot a logarithmic graph. Um, logarithmic graphs typically look a little something like this. So you have your y, you have your x, and let's say the log is, um, so that will be 1. It's going to look like this. The closer and closer you get to 1, uh, I mean to x equals 0, the closer and closer, the um, the smaller and smaller the y value is going to be. Like it's going to go straight down. X cannot be 0. Even when x is like, you know, 0 0.0000001, like extremely close to just being 0, like it's, it's going to have a massive, like an extremely deeply negative y value. But you would you can never get a um, an x equals zero. It's just not possible. And x can also not be negative for, um, um, or the result of a logarithm cannot be, uh, I, I mean, there's no like negative part to a negative, uh, to a logarithmic plot. Okay, so just know, if the log of zero exists, psh, yeah, yeah, not happening. It, it, it don't exist. There, there's no answer. You can't handle this. You see log zero, you say, get out of here. You're not even real. There's no solution to you. Or you can be a little bit more friendly, but you know, I like to be aggressive with the numbers. You dominate the numbers so they don't dominate you. Um, the above solution is good. Awesome. Log zero, get that out of here. I don't want to see you anymore. Um, 
yeah it really just gets me fired up really fired up <laughs> okay um, that actually uh, was our last question so I'll just go back to um, strict my webcam I think it was I think the Sun was up when I started the stream but time flies when you're having fun so those are all the questions that we're going to cover today if you enjoyed today's Q&A and would like to be notified when we do this next please hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell below if you'd like to submit your own questions please visit the links in the description remember to leave a like and a comment um, if you enjoyed this or if you have any comments uh, and share this video with your friends if you think that this will be um, helpful to them this has been milliner from one class i hope to see you again soon and happy halloween hopefully if you're in celebrating halloween and you're dressed up like me maybe in a spooky costume um, enjoy your halloween safely and um, you know remember it's a tough time right now we have to stand up and protect our community celebrate safely if you are celebrating your halloween Otherwise, I hope you have a great evening, and I hope you get more treats than tricks.